Let's take a look at this example. This time we have the cosine of the sum of two angles multiply with the cosine of the difference of two angles on the left side of my equation. Right side is less complicated than the left side, that's why I'm going to start solving this problem from the left side. I mean proving this problem from the left side. I have cosine alpha plus beta, always copy down the side which you are going to simplify, cosine alpha minus beta. This is equal. Now, we have the cosine of the sum of two angles. That's why we're supposed to use the formula for the cosine of the sum of two angles. So I'm going to copy this down and this is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta times the cosine of the difference of two angles. We're supposed to use this formula, the cosine of the difference of two angles. I have cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta equals. Let's take a look what we have in the parentheses. We have cosine alpha, cosine beta, cosine alpha, cosine beta, sine alpha, sine beta, sine alpha, sine beta, negative sine, and this is positive sine. This is nothing else, just the difference of two squares. Let me remind the formula one more time. We have a square minus b square is equal a minus b and I have a plus b. You have to remember this formula. And this is going to be my a. This is my b. This is my a. And this is my b. That's why I'm going to rewrite this problem as cosine alpha cosine beta square minus sine alpha sine beta square. Next I'm supposed to use the properties of exponents and simply rewrite this as cosine square alpha cosine square beta minus sine square alpha times sine square beta. Now we're supposed to look at the right side of the original equation. We have cosine square alpha minus sine square beta. Means we do not want to see any cosine beta and we do not want to see any sine alpha. There is no sine alpha over here. We do not want to see them. So what we are going to do with them? We are going to apply the Pythagorean relation which says that sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal 1. So let me write this down. We have cosine square alpha and I do not want to see cosine square beta so I'm going to use the Pythagorean relation and I'm going to simply write instead of cosine square beta 1 minus 
sine square beta. Okay, I'm using this relation. Minus, okay, I can add the parentheses also because I have parentheses at the beginning. Minus, and I do not want to see sine square alpha. So instead of sine square alpha, I'm going to write 1 minus cosine square alpha times sine square beta. This is equal. Now we're supposed to multiply this cosine by the parentheses, by every single term inside of the parentheses. And we're supposed to multiply this sign by every single term inside of the parentheses, but don't forget about this sign. So what we are going to have? We are going to have cosine square alpha, because cosine square alpha times 1 is cosine square alpha. Now, invisible positive times negative is going to give me minus cosine square alpha sine square beta. Now, sine square beta times 1 is equal to sine square beta and times negative 1 is negative sine square beta. And I have sine square beta times negative cosine square alpha is negative cosine square alpha times sine square beta times negative, one more negative is going to give me positive, plus cosine square alpha sine square beta. Next, we're supposed to combine the like terms. We have cosine square alpha sine square beta, cosine square alpha sine square beta, we have different signs, that, that's why they are going to subtract each other, they are going to eliminate each other. And I end up with cosine square alpha minus sine square beta. Please compare our result with the right side of the original equation. As you can see, both of them are identical. That's why we prove that the left side is equal to the right side of the equation.